they say I'm the most relatable, and she'll just kind of look up like, hmm, am I? Wait, what? She just kind of looks up and says, wait. Yeah. She was talking to me there, right? Yeah. She's doubting yourself immediately, right? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you can rely on me. Can you? I will take this opportunity to counter as an ally, and Rhea will go, of course. Alright. Can you roll me an understanding roll? Yeah. I can also fail it. <laughs> All right, like you can tell, like she's just had us, like it was pretty, it was a pretty low DC to begin with, but you can you can tell, like she's just had a shower and she's carrying like she's carrying like mundane belongings with her, things that you wouldn't really see at school, unless right. you spent a disproportionate amount of time here. Right. Well. <sighs> well, that's like I rolled good understanding, so I'm not going to immediately jump to the conclusion that. Hey, that's kind of what Rio looks like right now. Maybe she got hurt yesterday, but because the understanding was good, I'll be like, of course, I'll look forward to working with you more in the future. Yeah, dude. And she'll just do a thumbs up, and he'll be like, I'll even take out the piercings if you want me to look less savage. Mm. Right, piercings. Are, Jess, are they against regulations, like school uniform code? Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty much the rules almost, almost breaking because of how much she bent it. The rules almost breaking? Yeah. Like, she has, she has a jewelry that is, uh, some of it's purple. Oh, okay. Some of it's purple. That's good. That means some of it's not. Alright, well. Anyways, that's, Okay. I should roll diligent. Okay, good. Rio will go and say, mm, not entirely necessary unless there's a formal announcement to the student body. Between just associates and between just the student council, I think it's fine. Yeah, man. What's well, called expressing yourself. Hmm. If you ever, if you ever want to, you know, like let loose and uh, take out that stupid ponytail and shake your head about and take off the glasses, they're totally fake. Then uh, you look pretty good. But the whole, the whole neat boy look. I mean, I mean, I guess that's kind of the appropriate look for this school, like stereotypically at least. Mm. It's not really much of a look, though. I just like being ordered. Mm. Mm. Sometimes you gotta live on the little wild and rough side. Sometimes, yes. I have neglected to allocate time for that. That was a good joke, buddy. <laughs> Just deadpan. Right, of course. But uh, I won't. Uh, I won't hold you up any longer. You there? I'll talk to you later after school. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Nice chat. And Rio will walk off going, what the hell was that about? She's being friendly. Yeah, I know. But, like, he's like, that came out of nowhere. Still, she seemed nice. Perhaps a potential ally. For the student council power games. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you... For the Subasa thing, he just wants to ask if Subasa would like to have lunch today. Yes. All right, good. Okay. All right, that's it. So, uh, since it's literally just Akira in the dorm, <sighs> does he tell does he tell Genda about her plan of going shopping with her? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She offers that that her and Shizuku would come with her. So yeah. Genda will say, uh, "Did you uh, did you do anything that I'm about to find out?" Sorry, there's another second that way. <clears throat> what do you mean? Somebody riding my motorbike. Oh, no. What do you mean? Well, you don't usually volunteer. Oh. Um. I've been 
Is he? Really, this isn't like a, oh, Ganda, I'm sorry I uh, broke the laws thing. Let me try to make it up to you. No, we just, you know, wanted to get some stuff there, and we kind of realized we hadn't really been helping out with it. Mm. Mm. Am I not allowed to do nice things for you? Oh, no. I guess uh, I guess I'm used for people that uh, are asking me for favors and then letting me know why later on. Or not letting me know and I find out why. Aw, Ganda. That's such a shame. Mm, yes. Who would, uh, who would manipulate the trust of a, of a young, fine woman like me? Oh, certainly not myself. That would be disrespectful. Mm. Oh, yes, as your senior rather than your elder. Mm. Of course. Of course. Alright, well, I'll be doing the run around six. There's less people around. Alright, cool. I'll be ready then. Alrighty. And I guess I'll be taking uh, I'll be taking the minivan since uh, Suzuki's coming along as well. Oh, cool. Same. It might be a bit longer in traffic. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine. We'll have more time to chat. Oh, you want to chat with me? But I thought you guys were doing your own thing. I don't want to be a bog. Oh, no, of course not. You could never be, Ganda. Oh, no. Mm. Are you sure the cat didn't shit in my office or something? I'm pretty sure. She's been with me all morning. Meow. <laughs> Kira just feeds some food down to Glinda. <laughs> Did she shit in the office? <laughs> No, she'll just pour some of the food off of uh, Ikira's plate. <laughs> Did you want some of that, Glenda, or were you just moving it? Right, she'll sniff it, and then she'll move it off the table. <sighs> You're just grinding my gears today. <laughs> Ikira will go get a paper towel to clean it up. Just scratch Glenda under the chin because it's hard to be mad at her. Kari, favor. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Good food, Glenda. You're you're not eating this food. Come on. Fuck off, God. <laughs> All right. So who's eating this breakfast? Akira is you might want to pick that up from the floor. Yeah, Akira's cleaning that up. <laughs> shit, no, as in, like, don't just chuck it away. Oh, no shit. I thought you, she just moved a little. She's not going to fucking not eat no, no, it. No, no, no. Okay. no. See, it's like, imagine if like there was some ketchup. She was just putting her paw in that and swiping it across. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's fine then. Yeah. No, yeah, she's eating the meal. All right. But. So for Suzuka, Akira, Kaharu, and uh, for they will, um, they'll feel really good. Good. Good, good work. This good is, sleep, good meal, all creds. This has been a great day. <laughs> yeah, uh, and for the net, for the, um, and for the rest of the day, if they put stuff in their mouth, they can find it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> they find information about it again. They find information about it? Yeah. <laughs> what? Are you this high? Is... Okay. No, you become a you become a hero of a protag uh, the protagonist of a cooking anime. They enhance their taste buds today. <clears throat> That's a horrible bit. Like, uh... Oh. Alright, there, there we go. Kahari didn't cool. make any breakfast for the others. Cool. It's a girl breakfast. Girl breakfast. Pink. <laughs> just all the eggs. You just need the food gasms now. Yeah. Uh. So I guess, I guess like, like how she fucked up Narcissus's face, he did it in the opposite way. Amazing. <laughs> she, found some, she found some nice stuff at Jeff Crew. And she Amazing. used it in the kitchen. Amazing. So there you go. 
put oh, yeah, something Kira. in your mouth and something will happen. <laughs> oh yeah, Kira wants to ask Jeffrey something real quick. Hi. Right. She wants to you, know. You lick Jeffrey. <laughs> what? No. You... Oh ah. I kind of want to, but that'd be so weird. Oh. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Kara's like walking around tasting the air, like, ooh, 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 boy. <laughs> Slicking walls, I wonder where this came from. The taste feels like it's very, trying very hard to feel very homely to you. Oh, that's nice. Snozberries hey. taste like snozberries. Jeffrey. Hey, Jeff. Morning. And when you were eating the breakfast, you could tell from where the ingredients came from. Amazing. Just imagining the chicken's ass as she's eating the eggs. No, as in, like, you know what I mean. I know what you Ben. I'm just joshing you, buddy. Anyway. Yeah. Morning, Jeff. Morning, Mum. Me. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> oh. How's business mm. for you? Going? Maybe, maybe mum would be better. You don't have any bandages on you this time. <sighs> Morning, mum. Kira just giggles at the joke. Morning, Jeffrey. Oh, things going good for you? Yep. Business cool. is, uh, business is good. Good, nothing, good. Nothing, uh, nothing too bad happened to me. That's good. I'm glad. Hey, I had a question. So, uh, Raph said he bought, like, a door inside of you that lets us pop out here. Yeah, yeah. When you walk through the door, you'll come straight into my my corridor of definitely not time. Hmm. Definitely not? <laughs> you know how copyright is. Oh, I fail you. Yeah. That shit's rough. I'm still so, trying to name it. <laughs> Well, I could come help, probably help you come up with some names. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I'll get to give some, but I did have a question about that. How do you, uh, how much is that to, like, set up, like, a, maybe, like, a day use of one of those somewhere? A temporary do? Yeah, like, if I want to just head over somewhere. Mm, oh, mm. Where are you heading? Uh, not too far from here. Uh, I kind of wanted one back, uh, well, does it have to be somewhere I've been before? Because that would, that's somewhere where I'm going. I had to help. It'll be All cheaper, right. too. The girl wants to get one that's kind of back at her village, because she had an idea for a picnic spot back there. She wants to set up yeah. a separate that. I see, I see. Hmm. Hmm. Well... If I remember correctly, there is a vending machine just on the outskirts. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Cool. Mm. So, that will be... Mm. Well, uh, if you if I give you a two-time use door, aka, like, when you go in and when you yeah. go out and then it disappears. Right, right. You probably should hold hands with whoever you're going with, of course. Then that will be... Thanks, Jeff. Mm, 30 J credits. All right, cool. Thanks, Jeffrey. Since it's still... It's not like you're asking me to make a door in Australia. Yeah. That would be pretty neat, though. Well, you, turn out, you, you turn out upside down, though. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't know what the other cu country is. I just know UK, Australia is upside down. I don't know what it is for Japan. <laughs> uh, it's probably upside down. It's, it's Australia. It's just how mm. they live there, man. A bing, a bing, a bing, you flush your toilets upside down in Australia, I hear, guys. <laughs> cool. Thanks, Jeff. So, yeah, she'll spend those. All right. See. You have been remembering to update your J-Credit account, right? Yeah, I remember it because you reminded me and I put yeah. it in and out. It's all got subtracted now. Are you sure you don't want to lick Jeffrey? Oh my god. <laughs> How would I explain it? How would she explain it to her sweet little boy while she's licking him? 
That's fucked up, dude. Fine. You know what? Just She'll give him a kiss. <laughs> this, is what, this is what Wukong's saying. You know what? I'll take Neb's advice and play it off like it's a, like, a little fucking kissing him on the forehead. <laughs> like you do with a kid. I like that. You sold me, Neb. Alright, Jess, what's he taking? Kissing his inside or outside? <laughs> this is getting more complex by the minute. What was Wukong saying? Why not both? <laughs> okay, both. Fuck it. One on the way out and one... <laughs> one while she's in, one on the way out. Why not? Sure. Alright. Real roll for the quality of information. So. Oh, I Ba-ba-ba. thought I'd instantly... I thought I'd instantly know! Yeah, but it depends on how much you know. Fuck okay. you, what? So that's inside. I'm spending some money to re-roll the first okay. one. You want to re-roll the first one? Yeah. All your PP? I don't know, man! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff you need to look. Considering you're the only PC that has the buff, because Kahoo ain't here. God damn it. Fine. Alright. So, alright, so on the inside, uh, you get the impression that uh, not all of Jeffrey's stock is stuff that he gets from other people. You feel like some of it he literally makes by himself. Oh, cool. Self-producing. But you don't know what products he makes by himself. Oh, that's a shame. Well, she'll just have to ask sometime. And uh, on the outside, uh, you get the impression, like, uh, even though, like, Jeffrey's, like, made up of, like... I'm going to say particles, okay? Okay. Even though though he's, he's made up of, like, new particles... You feel like like this composition could have been used another time before. Like you get the feeling that you're probably not the first person you ever spoke to, Jeffrey. Oh. Huh. So he's a liar. Okay. Well. Well, the entity that comprises Jeffrey, anyway. Right. Sure. That's some heavy shit. Mean? Oh, cool. So she'll just smile and thank him and head off back to help clean up shit. And pondering how deep Jeffrey's lore goes. Cool. All right. So thank Koharu for letting her learn things by licking them. All right. Yep. She'll just extend her tongue towards you. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think she... Not taking advantage of that. I mean, you just need to go talk to some light people, man. <laughs> what? They just unbutton her skirt for you. Oh my fucking. <laughs> fucking slut. It was like one or two buttons. <laughs> slut. Alright, so. So uh, I guess we will move to the school map, but then Reiko and Ryu and stuff would wake up. Alright. Are we still lost in the forest? Mm, you wouldn't be lost. Oh, so we now yeah. know where we're going in the forest. I hoped as much because if, I mean, I thought that after we wake up, we kind of did what that goddess of forest asked us to do. So I would expect that she would grant us safe passage. Yeah, the path is clear to you. Oh, besides, we stabilize stabilize that area, so yeah. Yeah. Suppose the first thing Ryu would do is he's about locating the other two once he woke up. Uh, He would see, like, two, like, bodies near the fountain. Uh, Is that where you guys were? Did I miss anything? 
Uh, no, not really. I mean, you missed some of uh, Ebisu's sake. That stuff was really good. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, in my case, like, uh, I don't respond immediately to that. This is like, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, right. I mean, sake or no sake, it, it helps. But you can see, because I imagine it, it happens, like, shortly after at least she wakes up. So what is unusual for her is that she's slightly startled. Like, normally she's all happy-go-lucky, almost to the point of naivety, like, nothing can shake her. But clearly she's, like... She was at least disturbed by something, but then you can see that I just shake my head. Yes, we're fine. Uh, there was a nice spirit lady slash goddess here. We gave flowers, offered tribute, and this place is stable, I think. Right. Right. Bad dream? Yeah, like my muscle twitch and... Uh, yeah, oh, I, and then I just, like, try to play it off and, like, with my hand. Oh, it's, it was just a dream. Not pleasant, one, but dreams? just a dream. Uh, I mean, all I got was a load of he hoos I didn't really see anything. Hmm, yeah, I had a rather interesting dream myself. Oh, you man. You there, Hamato? Uh, uh, oh, oh. Oh, you're, you guys are awake. Oof. 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 You actually did wake up. Oof. Well, yes, of course we did. And we stabilized this area. Oh, oh, that's great. So the demon wasn't tricking you or anything. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's good. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, everything... You, you guys made a map? I, I, I was going to try again when you woke up, but shit, everything's clear. I guess we'll have to thank the demon for that. Maybe we should see if we can get her next time we go someplace. Oh, man. I said I was sorry. Um, it's really hard to make a map after you failed the first time. And, yeah, I don't know. I Raph seems to be able to do it reasonably well. Maybe you need to talk to him about it. Mistakes mm -hmm. happen, Hamato. We are all fine. Just small, unpleasant dream that will go off. Don't beat yourself over it. I'm just really trying, even if I'm Amazon as a player. Like, my character is really trying to push the issue that, listen, mistakes happen. Uh, we don't hate you. Just... This is like, you know, you can remember about this and strive to be better. Yeah, I'm trying to cheer him up. Hamato, stop being Hamato. Uh, Mateki will be like, yeah, dude, if like every dream I had came true, like shit, I'd be like a dog with wings. He was a, he was like a, you know, like a builder. You have some weird dreams, my man. Hey, uh, hey, man, I was a, I was a very active child. Right. I can tell from my energy. Do you want me to roll how well I cheer up Hamato, or it's not Im not <laughs> not necessary? Uh, I just you think can what roll like exp you can think you can roll expression if you like. Uh, okay, might as well try. You can add your plus two. Or is it plus? Mm, it'll be plus one for now with Hamato. Hamato's social links are um, low. So yeah, be because I don't one. remember if you have like free. I know it's I know it's always half, but I don't remember. I don't know if you have like free. It's round down. Round down always or not? Yeah. Okay, so it's plus one. Hmm. What am I diplomacy modifier rolled up? Eh, I don't think so. I'm not really. I mean, I'm trying to be diplomatic, but like just change him up. So let's let's go with this, or maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna spend one fate point because that's a new game, and I'm gonna add my uh, understanding and explanation. Right. It's like I understand his issues and just work around them so I do not fuck up. There's a part of me that wants to see you roll snake eyes for this. <sighs> nope. Damn. Thirteen for 
understanding with fate point i guess since uh i guess after the dream reiko would kind of feel like uh you she would kind of feel like for a moment that she understands how what hamato is going through because of her dream and how she helped people like him who have the same deal and uh, so, uh, the way that she comes off sounds sounds like genuine, and she sounds like like she 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 understands the position she he's been in, like she's been there herself, rather than just telling him how to feel because it's a good thing to do. So Hamato will be like, uh, "Oh, wow, well, f- f- thanks, Areko. Uh, that, that was nice." <laughs> oh, was we. The comments everybody can hear. Uh, <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, uh, I'll take that to heart. Thanks. No problem, Hamato. Yeah. That's that's who I am. I'm just trying. I'm just being nice and helping people. I mean, hey, if I'm if I will have time, we might as well work together with uh, improving your navigation skills. I would be interested yeah. in that too. Anyways, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, moving on. What time is it, Hamato? Yeah, that's what I wanted to oh. ask. It's like 9 a.m. Okay, time we get out of here. Unless you guys don't want to go to school. No, no. I have an appointment to, to make. I really hope Katsumi uh, won't be mad. Hamato will be like, don't worry, Reiko, I told her. I told our uh, dorm, our uh, class head that you uh, we were on a project together in the morning, so you don't have to go in unless you know you want to come up with a project. Uh, oh no, no worries, no worries. I'm gonna deal with this. I mean, what project is he talking about? Because as a player, I'm like kind of not really understanding. Are there classes on Saturday? Yeah, Japan. Yeah, Japan. Ah, homeroom. Okay, yeah. I just have like a good explanation why I'm late, and obviously I would try to, when we return, try to grab fast breakfast, quick shower, because I'm guessing, I mean, forest might smell nice, but some refreshment will be good. And... Yes. yeah, go to homeroom and of course excuse. But we'll get to that. Hi. So uh, there will be an like 